he's like grabbing my, my, my breasts, he's touching my thighs, um, he rips my underwear off, um, and then he, proceeds to do a cavity search and slams me up by my neck and holds me there for a second and tells me that he he could f***ing kill me. Amber Heard testified in a Virginia courtroom about her experiences and relationship with Johnny Depp, her ex-husband, suing her for $50 million for defamation. She had a lot to say, including some stunning and surprising things. And these have prompted the question of whether she made it up or is telling the truth. What was Depp's and his team's reaction to her words? Amber Heard described how the former Fantastic Beasts actor sexually attacked her in 2013 to the court. She detailed how Depp yanked her dress off in a rage. Heard told the court through tears, she said, he's grabbing my breast, he's touching my thighs, he rips my underwear off and proceeds to do a cavity search. He shoves his fingers inside me. The event occurred after Depp accused another lady of flirting with the bisexual Heard in the Hicksfield trailer park in the California desert. The actress added in one of the most emotionally charged moments of the trial, which began on April 11, I just stood there looking at the light. I didn't say stop or anything. Depp has always denied he was aggressive to his then wife or sexually assaulted her, and he sued her in March 2019 for a 2018 Washington Post op-ed in which she wrote about being a survivor of domestic abuse and never names the actor by name. In fact, the former Academy Award candidate said he was the one that was abused in the relationship. The defense has been laying out the alleged physical, emotional, verbal, and sexual abuse, first through clinical and forensic psychologist Dr. Dawn Hughes, and now through Heard herself, since they began their part of the case earlier this month. The actress said during her testimony, I pride myself on being tough. I minimize it, she continued, referring to the alleged domestic violence in the relationship. However, there were several events in March of 2013. Heard photographed a massive bruise on her upper arm on one occasion. She also mentioned being slapped in the face by Depp on another occasion. My lip went into my teeth and it got a little blood on the wall, Heard explained, adding that her then boyfriend wears a lot of rings. Amber Heard described the first time Johnny Depp allegedly hit her in a Virginia courtroom today. I will never forget it. It changed my life. I laughed. I thought he was joking. And he slapped me across the face. The actress recalled her reaction from her then boyfriend when she asked about a tattoo he had while the two were drinking together. I laughed. I didn't know what else to do, according to Heard. The pounding back. Depp said, you think it's funny, bitch? As she spoke about their time together, the former Pirates of the Caribbean star scarcely looked at his constantly tearful ex-wife. On the other hand, Depp seemed transfixed on something on the table in front of him. He slapped me again. It was clear it wasn't a joke. The Aquaman actress said of her horror, I didn't move or freak out. I just stared at him and he slaps me one more time, hard. In her testimony as to the defense's second witness, Heard remarked, I'm all of a sudden realizing that the worst thing that could happen to me happened. The five-week trial, which began on April 11, is based on a $50 million defamation suit Depp filed against his ex-wife in 2019 in response to a late 2018 Washington Post op-ed she wrote about being a domestic violence survivor. Heard previously pulled back the curtain on the couple's relationship turning sour in and around 2012, with an allegedly heavily drinking Depp calling her a whore, denigrating her fashion choices, and throwing objects and punches close to her. Heard told the judge, jurors, and other in the Fairfax County Courthouse about how she learned to react differently to Depp depending on whether he was on speed, cocaine, Adderall, or any other of an apparently endless list of substances. Heard brought up a term the jury had heard before during his and others' testimony, the wrath this man had, and Depp's subsequent exaggerated pledges such as rather cut my hand off than ever lay it on you. Heard claimed that on one occasion in 2012, the disappearing Depp acknowledged to her that he had a drinking and drug problem. He told her, I put that fucker away. I killed that monster. The latter word being widely categorized in past testimony as referring to Depp's sobriety rather than his drinking and drugging. Heard told the court, I wanted to believe him, so I stayed. I believed there was a line and he wouldn't cross it again. Depp did not see his ex-wife give her testimony, unlike his rowdy turn on the stand. Instead, seated between two of his lawyers, the sunglasses-wearing actor bent over the table and scribbled away, clearly avoiding eye contact. As others testified, he was seen drawing in the prior days. However, it was difficult to tell if that was what he was doing. Heard's evidence comes more than three years after Depp sued her in March 2019 for a late 2018 Washington Post op-ed she wrote about being a survivor of domestic abuse. 
She leans in at the opening to tell the jury about her role as a mother now and her working class childhood near Austin, Texas. Despite the fact that the article in Jeff Bezos' broadsheet did not mention the prior Oscar contender by name, Depp believed it was all about him and that the article cost him big money parts in Hollywood and effectively devastated his A-list career. Depp also claimed in his 2019 complaint that he, not her, was the victim of domestic abuse in the relationship. A 180 from the couple's bitter and restraining order defined 2016 divorce. The emphasis of Depp's legal team's case since the old Dominion set and much postponed trial began on April 11 has been pounding the table figuratively on losing a possibly $22.5 million payoff to be in the as yet unmade sixth parts of the Caribbean film. While Heard's defense team, led by Brett Hoft and Ben Rottenborn, has attempted to puncture Depp's version of events in the admittedly tumultuous marriage with stories of drug and alcohol abuse and violence, they have been on the defensive narratively for the majority of the five-week-long trial. Actor Johnny Depp has gained support on social media amid the tumultuous court case. The continuing trial has been widely reported in the media, and it appears that the social media court is siding with Depp. On Twitter and TikTok, posters have shown tremendous support for Depp, with hashtags like Justice for Johnny Depp receiving over 3 million views on TikTok alone. Thousands of times, similar hashtags have been tweeted. Meanwhile, there hasn't been much interest in Justice for Amber Heard. On TikTok, some post day-by-day -day chronicles of the case while others propose conspiracy theories, all of which have yet to be proven, surrounding the case. Some have speculated that Heard imitates Depp's fashion sense in court to scare him. Others have attacked Heard's behavior during the couple's marriage, believing she is not held to the same standard as male domestic abusers. Heard has been accused of violently abusing Depp, including throwing a vodka bottle at him and severing his fingertip. Heard claims she only hit Depp in self-defense or protected her younger sister in court files before the trial. According to one user on Twitter, People called out hashtag Will Smith slap as assault, but this woman severed a finger, put a cigarette out on his face, hit him multiple times, and we are still not calling it what it is. Hashtag domestic violence, complete and utter bullshit. Hashtag justice for Johnny Depp. According to another user, Amber Heard got a free pass for her lies and violence for six years. This gender bias must end now. Make her accountable for her actions, Virginia. We trust you. Hashtag justice for Johnny Depp. Hashtag Amber Turd. Hashtag me poo. Visuals of Depp's testimony, according to experts, make him appear vulnerable to a society that is essentially misogynist. While discussing earlier drug use and other personal things, Depp's quiet and calm comments have been interpreted by some as a reflection of his weakness during the case. Experts believe that some people are supporting Depp because they believe the Me Too campaign did not adequately represent male victims. Depp has been cross-examined by Heard's lawyer and accused of physically harming his ex-wife, which he has denied in court. The trial is now in its sixth week. So why is social media more enthusiastic about Depp's involvement in the story? His popularity could be one of the reasons. Depp is most known for his roles as Captain Jack Sparrow in Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean trilogy and the titular Edward Scissorhands in the 1990 Tim Burton picture. Many believe Amber Heard only got well known when she began dating Depp. But regardless of the case or what people believe, the trial is still ongoing. Therefore, there is no verdict yet and we have no idea who to believe. It will be disclosed at the end. That concludes today's video. To ensure that you don't miss another upload, click the notification bell button and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.